What's up? This is FSD Beta 10.69.25.1. So um, we're just gonna do a drive today, a uh, little bit after these like kind of like wet, this tons and tons of rain that we've had. Um, it's been pretty pretty incredible. Um, if you haven't been, if you're not in California and you've been kind of like watching or hearing about some of this rain it's been pretty insane um all right <clears throat> i thought we could do um, a mountainous drive today we'll see how well it does All right, so we're gonna make a right here. Yeah, some other, um, at some point it should peak out or it may just be waiting. So again, as a human driver, <clears throat> it looks like it's changing, so it shouldn't be that long of wait, but as a human driver, I probably would have peaked out and made a right. So it's being a little bit extra cautious there. And, you know, um, actually one thing I wanted to call out that's interesting, cause you know, I'm, I was uh, the first public beta tester and I've actually, I have my button still, so I can still send it to the mothership. I don't know if they're doing anything with that, but it's still pretty cool your way nonetheless. Um, but one thing I wanted to call out was that, um, you know, I think um, Elon responded to me today. Um, two comments, you know, FSD beta V11.3 is coming out um, no later than this this week if not the following week obviously take that with a grain of salt we know elon musk time always means two weeks which could mean a good minute i asked him though what was really cool i asked him what was like what was something he's most excited about he says a ton of small things but the biggest thing he had mentioned low key was that the fsd is going to now be using the neural network um, to help with navigation, um, to help with navigation and to actually help, help the car drive. So on top of just pure vision, cause as of right now, it's just been pure vision. So I'm personally really excited because like I said, we've been putting all this data into the system for the longest time. And now it's all hopefully going to start paying off. So again, uh, I'm personally really excited. All right, we're gonna be making a left here. No, no cars coming. Uh, we're gonna be making a left here as a three-way stop. So I'm personally really excited. Hopefully, you know, we can get some really, really good, good, um, you know, hopefully that will change the game. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here, ooh, it's not gonna, a little, little fast there. I should see this one. Like I said, it's been pretty, pretty good. There we go. Slows up. A little late. A little late there, but. All right, we're going to be making a left here. It's a three-way stop. All the cars have kind of just gone through. So it's peeking out. Um, I don't know if you knew, but I personally, one of my beliefs is that, um, and it's a, it's it's mainly because I am, you know, I live close to the mountains um, in by, by the Santa Cruz Mountains, and so um, I really do think that you know one of FSD's uh, best situations or scenarios that it can handle is mountainous roads. Um, some of you have obviously who have been watching this channel for a while know that I've done a lot of mountain testing, mountain road testing. So, all right, so we're going to be me. But as you can see also too, as you're watching, hopefully watching this visual, there is tons of water just all over the place, you know, so. Wow, look at that. 
just got that that on camera so it handled that like a champ so it's literally going through water on a mountainous road and it can FSD Pure Vision is just taking it like a champ. Also, too, the one thing I'll say is that I'm not um, familiar. Yeah, you can actually see all the water just running over on the right. Um, but one thing I will say is that um, I don't know um, as much as I've done driving, I haven't been to this specific location. So obviously, I'll have to disengage if it's going to be going into someone's property. Um, definitely don't want to be doing that. But um, I did pick a location. It's on. It looks like 14800 Sky Lane. Bikers over here on the left. So two, I did see a biker. Okay, so there's a biker here on the right. So let's see how it handles it. Okay. It may just um, follow them a little bit because, again, it's pretty narrow and you really can't see around it. So it's, I think it's, as a human, obviously, I'd be going around, but. We're about to make a left here, so I think that's also another reason why it's not going to go around. Okay, so we're gonna be making a left here. I just saw a notification for coolant is um, leaking, or sorry, not leaking, it needs service. All right, so we're gonna go up a hill here. It's straight down on the on the left-hand side here, so it's pretty, pretty insane that Beta's doing this. But on the coolant side, I actually had just um, had that replaced. So again, like I said, uh, the coolant should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna be... All right, so it's a, got several different paths, but it's gonna figure out which one to go down. And of course, all right, so here, let it go and then like I said I'll probably kill it if we but yeah it's doing doing really well right on this well, this is great Handling this like a champ.
can't. I'm driving right now. Okay, so. Exactly. You need to turn it up. Then there's maybe no reception. Alright, it should slow down for this is pretty Yep, it did. Still a little fast over it, but Hopefully it'll see this one. It didn't. There it is. Notice the bump and slow down like a champ there. Made the right call, let that car go. And it's gonna go there. why it did that again I'm driving right now so we'll deal with it after okay That's the main drive I'm going to do now. <laughs> 